Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Windows 10 computer is experiencing a black screen and you might not have any cursor on your screen but you're able to boot into your computer. So this tutorial is going to apply for you. So there are a variety of different issues that could be causing it and I just want to go over a couple different potential solutions without even really going into any troubleshooting utilities first. The first one I would recommend is to do a hard reset of your computer and if you're using a laptop or tablet you should remove the battery and disconnect the AC adapter from your computer and then plug it back in and put the battery back in and then when your computer comes back on you want to press and hold down the power button for about 20 or 30 seconds and then try and boot into the laptop. So if that does not resolve the issue, if you have any additional AC adapters that might be hooked up or available to other computers in your house if you're using another laptop. I recommend trying that to see if there could be something with the voltage, if there's enough AC voltage coming out of your power adapter and perhaps that could be an issue with your display settings as well. And before we even really get into anything else you should also make sure that there are lights if you're using a laptop. There should be little lights that appear on the side of your laptop to indicate that the power is on. You want to make sure that it is turned on. If it's not turned on, then that could definitely be an issue. Another thing that I've noticed as well is sometimes if your RAM is not seated properly. So if you open up your desktop or the laptop, and if you're unable to do it, there are plenty of tutorials online about how to do it and how to do it safely. And there are different precautions you should take when you're doing it. But it's pretty simple. All you have to do is basically open up your computer and then for the RAM sticks, you want to remove them from the slots and then after a few seconds pop them back in and you want to make sure they're put in properly. And if you're using a desktop computer you want to make sure your external monitor is connected tight because I'm there sometimes if you don't have a really good connection with your monitor sometimes the screen settings will not be correct. And basically that's about it for the troubleshooting methods that are not going to be covered in this video. So like I said, I recommend trying those fixes. Those are very common solutions that could fix quite a few of your problems. If you're still unable to get this issue resolved, what I recommend doing is downloading the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool through Microsoft's website. And I want you to boot your computer to it. And I have made tutorials like that before. So basically, if you have a DVD, CD, or I believe even a USB flash drive, you can boot your computer from this utility. So you just plug it in and you would boot your computer to it. Depending on your computer's manufacturer, the key you're pressing is going to be a little bit different. But you want to basically get into the boot options and you want to boot into this environment. So on my screen right now, let's say I have the utility and I booted the computer to it. Underneath choose an option. You want to go underneath the troubleshoot tile that says reset your PC or see advanced options. So once you left click on that, we have quite a few options here and I would like to explore a few of them in this tutorial. So the first one, before we really get too far into the troubleshooting options by clicking on advanced options here, you have the ability to reset your computer which will allow you to keep or remove different files and reinstall Windows. Now I would not recommend trying that as your first line here. I recommend doing what I said earlier and then I'd also recommend going underneath advanced options right here. You can always go back and try some of this stuff later, but I think you're better off if you go underneath advanced options. If you have any system image backups, I'd recommend running them through here, the system image recovery tile, and you could back up and restore your computer to that. If you have any system restore points, if we click on this button right here, if you ever run any Windows updates, which are pretty much automatic on Windows 10, or you install programs frequently, they sometimes will make these system restore points for you. So that's also another avenue to explore. And sometimes you might not have a system restore point in here, so I'm just going to show you guys what this will look like. So basically you'd have to enter in your account information in order to access the system restore settings. And I believe it is similar for other options as well. So I don't have any system restore points saved on my computer, but if you've had your computer for a few months or longer, you likely will have restore points saved. I'd recommend backing them up through here and it's pretty self-intuitive and it shouldn't take very long to do. So I'm going to cancel out of here and that'll take us back to this original menu we were at. So I go back under advanced options. 
We can also go underneath Startup Repair right here as well. I have made a tutorial about that in the past and it seems to be very successful for people if you go underneath Startup Repair as well. But that really doesn't seem to be what the problem is in this case because it sounds like you are able to boot into your computer. You're just experiencing a blank screen after you log into your account. Or perhaps once you turn on your computer you just don't have any display settings. I'd also want to check and see if you have any drivers that maybe you could get into safe mode with. I don't know if you'd be able to get into safe mode if you just have a black screen. It really depends on the severity of it. But if you're able to get into safe mode, I would check to see if you have all the drivers up to date. And there are other utilities that you can run within the safe mode environment. And you can run System Restore outside of this, but I'm assuming that you're not able to get to any kind of desktop. So that's why we are using this other utility that kind of works outside of the operating system, if that makes sense. Because that's why I asked you to download this Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, because you don't need your operating system to be working in order to use this utility. I do want to point out though, if your display settings are not allowing you to see anything in your screen, it's just black, then obviously you're not going to see any of this. But most black screens are caused by something internally within the Windows operating system. So I just want to put that out there. If your screen is completely black, there could mean a very good chance that your computer is done with and it might be worth just investing in a new computer. But I do hope that some of these options will be able to help some of you guys. This problem is such a generic issue that it's hard to say that one fix is going to work for everybody. But I do hope that it works for a good number of you guys. I do hope that you try it. There's really no harm in doing any of this stuff that we're going through in this tutorial if you're at that point. So I do hope I was able to help you out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.